Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the UntitledGameshow.com, here with more video game news, reaction, and discussion for E3 2014. What I have for you guys today is some information about the Amiibos and, well, the pricing information on the GameCube adapter for Super Smash Bros. and the Wii U. So we're going to start off with the pricing information first and then we're going to get into the Amiibo information for Smash Bros. Alright guys? So off the bat, if you want to buy the adapter by itself that you can see on the screen right now, the adapter alone will be $19.99. If you want to get the adapter and actually the copy of the game, with Smash Brothers, guys. So you can get the adapter, copy of the game, and a GameCube controller. You can buy that for, well, $100. So yeah, for $100, you get that as a big bundle. So the game's going to be $60. You're basically going to be playing $20 for the adapter, and then you're going to play $20 for a controller. If you want to buy a GameCube controller by it itself, it's going to be costing $29.99, separately sold by Nintendo. I think that's an outrageous price, unfortunately, guys, just for the GameCube controller. So I think Nintendo went a little too high on the GameCube controller by itself. The GameCube controller is going to have Smash Brothers Brandon on it, though. So you know people are definitely going to be buying it as kind of a limited edition if it comes in different colors. Maybe even the colors actually match a character you want to play with. I think that would be a nice move from Nintendo. But let's go over to the other accessory that's going to be featured with Smash Brothers and among other games coming this fall. Well, Amiibo, if you guys don't know, these are the figurines. What's going to be happening with this is, well, you're going to be able to put the little figurine on the base and then you're going to transfer data between the game and the figurine and it's going to level up your characters. The characters that get leveled up on the little figurines, if it's going to be Zelda, Mario, or so on and so forth, because there's going to be 10 characters at launch with Smash Brothers for the Wii U. For the 3DS, it's going to be 2015, all right, guys? What happens, those characters, you get to fight your friends or fight with you, but they are going to be AI controlled. The more battles they play, the more they level up. So they're not going to be actually characters that level up and you play with them. Actually, what's going to happen is they're like a me character or a self control character. So you get to actually watch them play, which is kind of weird. I'm guessing you're going to be able to fight against them yourself if you want. So they're supposed to be like smarter AI. So what I kind of think this is like, it's like drive avatars for the Xbox One when they had that whole situation going on, guys. But there are going to be some other games that's going to support this as well. Um, right now, it's going to be Mario Kart. It's going to be this game called Captain Toad Treasure Park. Treasure Tracker, sorry about that. Mario Party 10 and Yoshi Wally World. All right, guys. So those are the games that's going to be supported by Amiibo this coming fall. Some of them, the first one particularly is going to be, well, Smash Brothers because that's what they want to launch with. Fortunately for everybody with 3DS and who's going to get in Smash Brothers, we're going to have to wait till 30, 2015 to get our hands on the Amiibo stuff as well. The GameCube adapter pricing itself, $20, is perfectly fine. I think that's exactly what I counted it as, guys. My E3 predictions, I predicted that this would be $20, bucks, and it, well, it is $20. Bucks. I predicted that Nintendo was going to overcharge it on the GameCube controllers, and yeah, $19.99. For a GameCube controller with Smash Bros. Brandon, it's kind of high, but the deal of getting the controller, everything together for 100 bucks is a fine deal. Alright guys, so share your own opinions in the comment section below, because this is the Untitled Game Show and this is the Everyday Gamer's point of view. You can leave voice messages or video messages on Skype by hitting up the Untitled Game Show on Skype. Alright guys, the Untitled Game Show is that simple, or go ahead and call in that number. It's a free number to call, so just go ahead and call the number and leave a voice message on your thoughts of E3 2014. And on the next episode of the Untitled Game Show, I'll be featuring those calls in the episode. Alright guys, if you have a YouTube channel, you can use this as a way to promote your channel as well. Alright guys, so until next time, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And if you want more ways to help out the channel, go on over to the UntitledGameShow.com slash shop or just head over to the Untitled Game Show. Click that subscribe button. If you want to see more E3 2014 news, go ahead and click here to play the next video. Till then, peace out guys.